What's up you guys, Eric with Ozone TCG here. Japan just revealed a couple new uh, cards for the new theme in Darkwing Blast called Beast City. It's a continuation of the Albaz lore uh, after Dogmatica Flor de Lee becomes a, an evil counterpart to herself um, and some of the some of the Abyss Dragons come out from the portal. Um, that's the whole lore about them and uh, yeah, uh, they're kind of insane. Um, we're going to talk about, we're going to take a look at, at these cards, and then we're going to talk about kind of what they do for the competitive games starting in October when they're released in the TCG. Um, I'll say straight up, it's going to be a different game. It's going to be a lot, and honestly, it's probably going to be close to um, Dual Alliance levels of power creep, and um, even into the when Cliffort's released... Um, late 2014, it's probably going to be that kind of era again where previous sects are just unplayable at that point. Uh, before we get into the video, of course, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get on into Beasted. So first we have Beasted Magnamudo, a level 6 Dark Dragon. Uh, the main two guys are Dark Dragons here. Um, you can only use each effect once per turn. Uh, again, level 6 Dark Dragon. Uh, you can target a light or dark monster in either graveyard, banish it, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand. Okay, pretty good effect on its own. Has the added stipulation though. This is a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. So it is a free DD Crow that is a hand trap. And then if it's special summoned, you can activate this effect. During the end phase of this turn, add a dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except Beasted Magnamuto. Um, it is a, f uh, a hand trap that lets you just add any kind of dragon. Um, it's a DD Crow, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost you anything to use this. You can use this theoretically in any deck, um, but specifically you're probably going to use this in Dragon Link. Um, even if something like Fibrax dies by the time this card comes out, um, Dragon Link will still be really good. That it, It's just crazy just how many good Dragon cards there are in 2022. Um, this card's insane. That just... You don't lose any resources for using it. It doesn't lock you in anything. It's a good level, a good attribute, good type. Um, even has high attack and defense for what it is. Um, you can add any dragon. So you can add like Fold of Albaz. You can add uh, any dragon card from your Dragon Link deck. Um, needless to say, this card is just busted. Um, and that's a term that I don't like to use a lot. But this legitimately is like an issue that's going to be an issue you know, in the coming uh, coming couple months after NAWCQ, after Power of the Elements releases here in the TCG. That's the first of these uh, extremely toxic cards. Uh, second one is Beasted, um, Saranile, um, probably some religious reference, honestly, but it, level 6 uh, Dark Dragon as well. You can target a light or dark monster in either graveyard. Again, notice it's either graveyard. Banish it if you do special summon this card from your hand. It's a quick effect as well um, if you control... Uh, if your opponent controls a monster. So it doesn't have to be just your opponent's graveyard. It doesn't have to be just your graveyard. These are like baby chaos dragons that are level 6. Um, this also enables Beatrice, which again, another light, so just another... Just another card. Uh, I, I, I don't know um, why they printed this. If it's sent to the graveyard, so by Foolish Burial from the hand, or, or deck to the graveyard, field, linked off, Uses exceeds material. You can send a beasted monster or branded spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard, except beasted Saren Isle. Um, pretty good. Um, it's good that it can send a branded spell or trap because these cards do interact with branded spells and traps, um, and they kind of work with the Fallen of Albaz cards anyway. So if you have Albaz, probably a good idea to hold on to this, even if it's not as good competitively right now as it once was. I don't think this card's nearly as good as uh, Magnamudo, but it is still a really, really strong card. Again, same stats and everything um, as uh, as Magnamudo. Uh, next, we get on to probably the most insane of the three level sixes here, Beasted Druigvarm. Uh, level six, again, Dark Dragon, 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. Really good stats. These, again, are like... Uh, these remind me of Light Pulsar Dragon from uh, 2013. When the, the kind of revamp blue eye structure deck came out, has the exact same first effect: target a light or dark monster in, in either graveyard, banish it if you special summon this card from your hand. It's a quick effect if the opponent controls a monster. So I think Thunder Dragon could probably use these um, if you're playing something like Thunder Dragon, Chaos Dragons, like we saw in middle of 2019. If it's sent from the field to graveyard, target a special summon monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. 
it's just free removal. Um, no reason why I should have that. No reason why any of these cards should be able to summon themselves during the opponent's turn, but they do. Um, and I guess we're stuck with it. This is really, really bad design. Um, these cards just fundamentally break kind of the even the way we, we interact with cards right now um it is where you, you can generally interact on the opponent's turn that's how most sex function this takes it to a next level um this is going to be a very um worrying precedent moving forward next card beasted lubellion um, so this is lubellion's main deck form a light level eight uh dragon cannot be normal summoner set must be a special summon from the hand or graveyard by attributing a level 6 or higher dark dragon monster you control. Um, so it's not a quick effect, thankfully. So you can mill this off of the second beasted level 6 monster. Uh, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, add a beasted monster from your deck to your hand, except beasted rebellion for some reason. So you can just search for hand traps. So you play three of this regardless. Um, just for your other two hand traps. At least other two hand traps. During your main phase, you can place a branded continuous spiller trap from your deck face up to your spell or trap, so that effect is okay. Um, so far, you can just place Branded Paradise in one of the other new cards. Um, that effect's like fine considering it's also just a level 8 light dragon, so you can search it off of a chaos space and it kind of pairs with Levianir. Um, we're probably going to see a lot of insane variants of Dragonlink coming out. Again, it's also a light dragon, so still searchable off of. Omni Dragon Brotor, you could probably ban Seals, you could probably ban Fibrax, and Dragon Link will still be a really good deck, um, just because, again, Romulus exists. Um, even if, I mean, maybe if Pisty gets banned, then that's the then that's the killer, but uh, there's just so much going for this this kind of theme right now. And then we have the Beasted Alba Los. I think YG Organization is translating all of these differently, but specifically this one is feels a lot different. Level 12 Light Dragon, cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by attributing two beasted monsters you control. Card's okay. While this special summoned, uh, while it's special summoned using its method, so, you know, you can't reborn it or anything, um, because it's, it's a, what, what the, what the OCG calls Nomi, um, that means you have to special summon it by the prescribed effect, and it can only be special summoned that way. That's what our text in the TCG would say. While its special summoned is in the monster zone, the effects of face up ritual, fusion, synchro seas, and link monsters are negated, so it's skill drain just for free. 35 35, by the way, that is nothing to snuff at as well. That is really, really strong. Um, normally, the attack and defense values don't matter too much in Yu Gi Oh! Um, but because this is also a skill drain, it's just a big beater that negates your opponent's monster's effects. Yeah, this is um, probably not okay. Uh, if this card, uh, face of card leaves the field by your opponent's card effect, uh, you can banish all face down cards in both extra decks in the opponent's end phase. So if your opponent gets rid of it by card effect, that which we will, they will have to do, um, because they probably won't be able to get to a 3500 attack monster to destroy it by battle. Uh, you banish all cards face down in, in both extra decks to the opponent's end phase. So your opponent loses their entire extra deck to the end of the turn. Um, kind of crazy. Uh, not good design either. <laughs> and then Brandon once more. So this is where Florida Lee turns into kind of her evil counterpart. You can only use the first effect of the card once per turn. You can only use the uh, second effect of the card once per chain. So the first effect is if a light or dark dragon monster, or excuse me, if a light or dark monster is banished, you can target one of them, place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, draw one card. So uh, banish, you know, chain link one, Mercurio, chain link two, this card, banish it once more. Um, draw a card, then add a card that lists Fallen Valabaz. That's probably the most applicable scenario. Or um, you have it on the field after you place it with Lubellion, banish a card in, a, in the opponent's graveyard, um, or one of your own cards, say it's Thunder Dragon, so Chain Link 1, Thunder Dragon Dark, Chain Link 2, Brandon once more, something like that, draw a card, add a card, um, or Thunder Dragon Roar, draw a card, uh, so, a special summon a card. It's not good. This is really bad design too. Um, not as bad as some of the others, but the other effect once per turn if your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster you can target a beasted monster graveyard special summon it so it's a free reborn and then it triggers the other uh other couple monster effects um so your level six is going to trigger the first one and the third one we talked about so uh druid worm and uh magnamudo uh kind of crazy a really good one of probably for the deck um probably is going to 
I could see this card being played in Branded, especially when Starkling Blast is out. And then finally we have Branded Beast. So this is the kind of linking cards between Beasted and Branded. Uh, continuous Trap, you can only use the second effect once per turn. Once per turn during either main phase while you control a Beasted monster, you can trip a Dragon monster you control. Then target a card your opponent controls, destroy it. It's a Mystic Mine out that you can place with Lubellion. Lubellion, uh, the Beasted is going to just place this from the deck. It's just a free destroy. Uh, it, it's it is insane. Um, nothing else to really say about it, but it still is another effect during either end phase. Target a branded continuous spell trap in the graveyard, place it face up to your spell or trap zone. Should not have included that. Um, yeah, these cards are really toxic for the game. Um, I'm not going to say they're tier zero or anything. I think these cards are just insanely busted, especially once they reach here in the TCG, because TCG loves combo decks and loves degenerate cards like this. We will see these cards being played for sure. Um, if you don't have Dragon Link, pick them up. Um, whether or not you use our TCG player affiliate link, pick them up right now. Um, unless they absolutely nuke the deck, which I don't see them doing just because of its representation right now. This deck will probably be up echelon of the of the metagame, probably tier one. I could easily see that, or what most people say is tier one. This will probably be one of the best decks to be, even with a Shizu tier elements coming out then. Um, these fundamentally change the way that the pretty much the competitive game is gonna be. Darkwing Blast is gonna be a smash hit now, I think, um, just based on these. This is a lot to take in. Um, this really pushes a lot of old decks out of the game. Tri Brigade probably is unplayable. Adventure even might be really hard to play, assuming absolutely zero hits. If, if Adventure gets hit, this this deck just absolutely takes over. Um, Sword Soul probably just becomes a very fair deck without Protoss. Um, without Protoss, the deck is, is virtually unplayable. Um, once Darkwing Blast comes out, of course. Right now, it's really good. But until then, you know, we have three months to play it. I love Sword Soul, top three decks I've ever played. Love it, but it, it will no longer be viable compared to everything else. This is this sets a whole new precedent. I think, honestly, Power of the Elements, from what we see here, is probably the same level of power creep the game experience in 2014 with Duelist Alliance, um, and later with Cleforth just taking everything to the next level. Everything before Duel's Alliance was virtually unplayable. It was really hard to play anything besides like shit all burning abyss, Teller Knights, um, until Cliff Forts came out and then then Necros. So maybe we'll see something like that again. I don't know. But fundamentally I think if your deck doesn't have a custom card like Mathmex Circular, it is probably not able to be played. That is the baseline for what your deck has to do, what it has to generate an advantage in order to be playable in 2022 going into 2023 once magnificent mavens and darkwing blast are out um let me know what you guys think about these new cards uh i like them i really like how powerful they are i don't agree that they're good for the game though i think that they are fundamentally awful for the game these will probably cause something in branded to get hit at, at some point you know despite the fact that it's really fair or these cards themselves are going to be insane um let me know what you guys think about this. Kind of a ranty video, and usually we try to keep it pretty mellow um, with our takes on these cards, at least starting out. I don't know how it'll be in the OCG. TCG is going to take advantage of these cards, no doubt about that. That is what TCG does, and that's okay. Um, that's the, the fierce competitive nature of the, of the format. Um, I just think this fundamentally changes the way the game's going to be played once it's out in, in October for us. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Eric with TCG. Thank you so much for watching.